Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So welcome to the Midnight Society, everyone. This is a live video. I'm going to wait for more of you to come in here. This is something I talked about in my previous live when I appeared on my channel and you guys engaged with me and I told you that I was going to talk about the story some more. All right. So you won't believe it. There's an update regarding... Kevin Hunter, Sharina Hudson. Uh, the good news is they were able to sell the mansion. They've moved out. Not sure where they are right now. They are having financial difficulties at this time. I'm not sure where they've been relocated to, but um, hopefully they're not houseless at this time. But the banks are after Wendy Williams' ex-husband. OK, um, this is a credit card company that's been trying to get in touch with him. He is dodging court dates as well. He owes twenty thousand dollars in credit card um, payments. And so basically there was a judge. OK, the judge ordered for him to uh, this was in Florida because he lives in Florida. The Florida judge granted a motion for a default judgment you know, that was brought up by UBS Bank USA. And they claim that Kevin Hunter owes them 20000 okay, over $20,000. And they're saying that the amount continues to grow and it's turning into interest until it's paid off. And they asked him and ordered him to show up in court. And guess what? He did not. OK, this guy thinks he is above the law. OK, he thinks he's untouchable. All right. Um, it's interesting to see how he doesn't take a lot of things seriously. This is a man that receives so much money from his divorce settlement. But at the same time, he just cannot be bothered. You know, um, he owes money here and there, but it appears that he's still planning to live a lavish lifestyle. Wendy talked about this as well. You know, that this guy's not good with money. He was never going to be good with money. Um, she knew this. And that's also part of the reason why she was saying he's living a lavish lifestyle. He's irresponsible. Um, you know, always trying to buy jewelry, always trying to spoil women just so they can be next to him and all this kind of stuff. And now he's having to downsize. And this is what allegedly contributed to him and his, well, she's a provider now, but Sharina Hudson who used to be his living girlfriend, is now the only one that's working and trying to provide for this man. You know, you guys, Wendy, I believe she's okay. She's still in the facility getting help and stuff like that in the treatment facility. So hopefully we'll see her back. And, you know, hopefully you guys, I mean, I'm not, I'm not thinking that highly that Wendy will be back to who she used to be because there's just so much that this woman's been through and her addictions and all that kind of stuff. It just seems like she's not interested in getting better. Okay. But let's wait and see. She's been there since May. So um, let's wait. You know, there, there's a possibility. There's always hope. But she was right about her ex-husband all along. This guy just... Are we surprised, you guys? I didn't even really want to do this video because we, we know this already. You know, Kevin Hunter is not good with money. He was living a luxurious lifestyle when he was married to Wendy Williams. He was trying so hard to spoil Sharina Hudson. And now Sharina Hudson is actually suffering in her life. He started getting this girl to start competing in competitions and start cooking her vegan dishes. She didn't even win the competition. You guys, it was just a lot. This man has been putting so much pressure on her for her to get her ghost kitchen operating and all this kind of stuff while he just sits back and be, you know, a stay at home live in boyfriend. This is not what she signed up for in the first place. You know, they can never be settled. Now they have a child. They're moving from place to place. There's just no stability dealing with him. Okay, so yes, do I feel for Sharina Hudson? No, nah, not really, actually. I've, no, 
I don't feel bad for her. She did a lot of the stuff to herself. This was the life that she chose to have, okay? This was her decision, all right? And now everything that he is putting her through is everything that he did to Wendy as well. So, you know, uh, for me, no, don't feel sorry at all for her. This was her choice. Now this man, because he cannot afford to live in a million dollar home, he's now having to downsize I told you guys already about everything regarding Sharina and how this guy had her competing in uh, in shows and stuff like that, trying to get her, like his goal was to make her become like, you know, the next top chef and all this kind of stuff. Remember, you guys, remember that was the goal. He thought that he, he can try to make some money off of her and stuff like that. And unfortunately, it just did not work out. It really didn't. Um, who ended up winning, by the way, uh, favorite chef, the competition that she was trying to win just so she can make some money. Uh, she wanted $25,000 or something. I think it was the, that was the win or whatever. Uh, but this woman, Karen Jenkins was the one that actually won because this woman put a lot more effort into her stuff, her recipes, her campaign and everything like that was very good. So that's the reason why she ended up winning. Sharina Hudson thought that, you know, by her story and all this kind of stuff, sharing and, you know, like she was focused mostly on, you know, I mean, you know, she wanted to capitalize off the fact that she met Dr. Sabi and all this kind of stuff that she could win possibly, but she has no history of cooking for people to begin with, all right? She just is a self-appointed um, vegan chef. She just made herself a vegan chef, okay? And anyway, it is what it is, you guys. You, you know how I feel about that. Seeking Him Daily, thank you so much for the sunshine. I appreciate it. You guys, give this video a thumbs up if you're watching. I wasn't going to do this video, but I thought, you know what, let's talk about it. Are we surprised that Wendy Williams X has to pay, you know, all these credit card bills and all that kind of stuff, and he's dodging the courts, not showing up to court and stuff like this? No, we're not, because this guy is so desperate right now for whatever coins he can get, okay? It is what it is. Um, and he is relying on Sharina as well to continue to do business and provide food. And I told you guys, she wasn't even working that much in her ghost kitchen anymore. Um, she's not always there all the time. Her goal is to get some money so she can get a real kitchen, a real restaurant. But this guy can't even give her anything. He can't even help her. So it's like, where did all the money go? All the money that they had that they were spending, they were going on holidays. Remember when Sharina Hudson used to give a peace sign and everything like this? And now she's walking around with this bag that says, you fake like this Birkin. Oh my goodness. Remember Jennifer Hudson returned this bag when somebody sent it to her? She was like, oh no, no, no. Uh, no, I'm not going to have this purse. I, I don't care for it. Like, remember she sent it to the thrift store? Yeah, you guys, Jennifer Hudson sent this bag to the thrift store. She was not going to be walking around with a bag associated with Sharina Hudson and stuff like that. No. So anyway, you guys, Kevin Hunter did sell the property, but he still cannot pay for the, um, the credit cards and everything. He's lost his cars, you guys. He's had to send back cars as well, I heard, and all this kind of stuff. This kind of life is not good. When you're with somebody who's unstable, that just cannot stay in one place for a long time, especially when you have children, this is not good. This is not good. He just comes across like a lost soul, somebody who just does not know what he wants. But there's never going to be stability when the guy that's supposed to be the lead of your home and whatever, he just keeps moving from place to place. Oh, my gosh. You guys, you know, Sharina Hudson is just not happy. We already know. We, we don't even... We don't even need to ask her. We know she is. Uh, by the way, her Instagram used to be public. Now it's not public. She's made it private because she just didn't want. After she lost the competition, 
she did not want people to know, um, you know, too much or, you know, she just didn't want to share too much after that or whatever. Um, so anyway, I, it makes sense. Um, she just decided to make her page private and stuff. So only certain people can follow her. Um, she just does not want to expose herself anymore like she was before. She used to feel so confident, you guys. Remember when she first came out on Instagram, when she made her Instagram public, she was just boasting about her vegan pancakes and all this kind of stuff. And then once she went into this competition and she lost, the confidence has been gone. Her life has just been like this now. You know, she's mostly wearing workout clothes all the time. You know, before she used to get dolled up and everything like that. But now this guy is literally aging her, stressing her out. She does not look as comfortable as before, okay? Look at Sharina Hudson before she moved into the mansion. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Big difference. Look at her moving out of her dream home. This was her dream kitchen. This is where she got all this inspiration to do her vegan cookbook, all this kind of stuff. She also had a book come out. Her business, she had big dreams, okay? That was her dream house, the million-dollar mansion. Now, when you see them moving out, look at her face. She's just like, oh, my God. She looks so confused. Like, is this real? Why do we always have to keep relocating? They used to live in a townhouse. Remember when um, the scandal came out, the cheating scandal was all revealed and everything? Right behind them, that was the townhouse that they were living in. You know, so Sharina was waiting for everything to be over. And then she thought, okay, after this, we can finally, now that it's going to come out that he's been having an affair, you know, we can finally be ourselves. I can finally be more free. We don't have to be on the run anymore. Excuse me. We don't have to be on the run anymore. But, you know, unfortunately, the money is just not... It's, it's not coming through, you guys. It was just so much easier when Wendy Williams was working. Okay, now that she's not working, the supply is gone. Okay, Sharina Hudson also tried. Kev, Sharina was willing to do this. She was willing. She wanted to have her own show. That's what I was hearing. She even wanted to try to be on the Real Housewives of Miami. There was all these things that, you know, he was going to try to audition her for. And the next thing was for her to possibly win this competition and all this kind of stuff. It just didn't work out because the reputation that Sharina Hudson also has, some people do not want to be associated with that brand. OK, so she's trying on her end with her ghost kitchen and everything like that. Um, Kevin Hunter, however, he doesn't have a show pony or somebody that he can use to capitalize from. And their relationship, they're both just seen as troublemakers, it appears like. Nobody wants to engage with these people, all right? So it's a lot. And for Sharina Hudson, she's just seeing her life just fall apart. Look at this first house, you know? Look at how Sharina Hudson went, all, all the, her journey, you guys. Look, this was the house that he bought her. Well, how much was this house? Like $700,000 or something? The one in New Jersey that was a block away from the house that he has with Wendy Williams. Look at this home. After this home, this was her like dream house, by the way. She loved this house. She was ready to have a family and everything. But once Wendy Williams found out, again, they had to get out of there. Wendy vandalized the house as well. Remember, you guys? She went over there. She vandalized the property. As soon as she found out about this, she even vandalized on the garage door and wrote Wendy and Kevin forever. Um, she just, yeah, she vandalized the whole property. So Sharina Hudson had to get out of there immediately. And at this time, she didn't even have a child. Okay, the next place was this townhouse. This was really a downsize, a huge downsize for Sharina, you guys. Huge downsize. Okay, and then after that, this is when she moved into the, um, this is her in the new mansion that they just sold. This girl has had to move three times or even four times. She's never been settled in this relationship. Okay, this is Sharina in her dream kitchen. This is the house that Kevin Hunter could no longer afford that just went on sale. 
this was really where she wanted to be. This is also the kind of community that she wanted to live in as well. This is the dream kitchen. This is the actual kitchen, you guys. This is inside the house. This is what they've had to give up. Okay. Take a look. Take a look at this. This is this is where they were living. Sharina Hudson finally felt comfortable, like, okay, now I'm with the man that's going to be there for me, take care of our family and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, no. And we've suggested as well, because you guys know these celebrities, they watch these videos sometimes. Sharina, you want to do your business. You're going to have to get out of that ghost kitchen. You're going to have to get like a, um, a tiny house or like one of those trailer get a trailer or something like this make your food inside your house or your trailer and then like get a food truck okay that way you guys can live inside the food truck and then you can also sell your vegan dishes and stuff like this you'll be able to save some money if you try to downsize all the way because kevin hunter cannot even afford twenty thousand dollars and this man is a millionaire Okay, his net worth is still, you guys, um, I think it was five million, but he received so much from his divorce settlement. I heard it was around ten million dollars. And he owned a restaurant, he owned a barber shop, he owned two restaurants, okay? He owned a vegan restaurant, vegan Caribbean restaurant called Stush. He owns also an Italian restaurant called Lorado. He also owned a um a uh, barber shop called like Hunters, Head Hunters, or something like that. He owns also a publishing company that Wendy Williams gave over to him. So I don't understand why it's become so difficult for him to, to you know, pay everything. Sharina Hudson is still working, you guys, out of her ghost kitchen in this strip mall over here. But these fees, you know, paying for a stand, you know, the a strip mall. All it is is a ghost kitchen. So it's just a kitchen inside. Customers are not allowed. So Sharina Hudson brings the food to the customers in the parking lot. You can't go in there and use the washroom or anything like that. You're not allowed. You just have to sit in your car and Sharina will run you your food. But this is really a better situation for them if they want to try to save more money, you guys, because you know, the, the bills are really adding up for this man. He can't take it anymore. I don't think he's even treating this woman good anymore. Ronnie says a mess. You guys, it really is. It really is. Charlene is saying no better for her and him. You guys, it's hard. I, I never, it's hard to feel sorry for these people. You know, like it's just hard because now he's treating her the same way he treated um, Wendy. This is how it feels, Sharina. This is how it feels. Who won the chef contest? It was a woman named, um, I just posted her. I, you guys, I, I forget her full name. Let's, let me grab her, her images here. Um, the lady that put so much effort, she was doing a lot more. Okay. This is her, you guys. Her name is Karen Jenkins. All right. Look at the effort that she put. She even wore like a chef's outfit and all this kind of stuff. Um, also her mission in the community and the stuff that she's doing to help mentor people. It, it's huge. The lady, you know, also had like a QR code on her posters and all this kind of stuff. She really put in the work. You know, Sharina Hudson, I mean, she thought that she would get ahead because of her name. But no, unfortunately, they gave it to someone who's actually been doing the work in the community, someone who actually enjoys cooking, enjoys mentoring also young cooks and stuff like that, cooking great meals for people in the community. This woman's actually very passionate about what she does. So this is the woman that won. And Sharina Hudson, you know, again, another, I think some people recognize that this woman is privileged. She's had a sugar daddy for decades. How can this lady go on a competition that a regular person can't even be with a millionaire, okay? She has a man that's been sponsoring her life and all this kind of stuff for decades, okay? So I feel like with, with the votes and everything, people did vote fairly, and um, I'm glad that this lady won, sincerely, okay? So good for this lady, you guys. Good for her. 
Sharina Hudson is on the move. All right, she's on the move. Wendy rocks, forget them. Yeah, Wendy does, you guys. I, this man really broke her down. He really broke her down. He really did, you guys. Give the studio a thumbs up if you're watching and tuning in. What are your thoughts about Wendy Williams' ex-husband oh, being ordered to pay $20,000 for credit cards and he refused, refused to show up in court? The guy's not responsible, right? He just doesn't care. Um, let's see here. Sergeant King, great to see you, love. Sergeant King says there are plenty of restaurants empty in Atlanta. A lot, a lot closed during C19 and never reopened. And guess what, Sergeant King? She opened up the ghost restaurant. It's not a restaurant, even. She opened up a ghost kitchen during that time. And also, he opened up restaurants during that time. I don't even know you guys, their business. Like, I don't, I don't even understand. I, I don't get, I don't get it. During that time, people were even saying like, why would this guy open up all of this restaurants during that time, during the Rona? Sharina Hudson over here in her ghost kitchen. She also started her ghost kitchen during that time as well. And people were like, this does not make sense. Why are you starting your business at this time? And she's barely at work too. When you take a look at the hours that she's at work at the rest at her ghost kitchen, she's barely there. The work ethic, you guys, it's the work ethic. It's not there. Karma is real. Zanab, great to see you, love. Zanab, thanks for that. Um, by the way, ooh, we have our gentleman here. Dijon, great to see you. Dijon says he would be better off filing for bankruptcy and starting over. You guys, that's a good idea. And a lot of rich people, celebrities, they do this. It doesn't mean that they don't have money. It just means that, um, yeah, if they do that, you know, it can really help them greatly. Um, 50 Cent did that. Um, isn't YouTube entertainment blogger Tasha K? She also is doing that as well with her whole case with, um, with Cardi B. By the way, I'm hearing that Mr. Kelly, you guys know the R to the... You know, you know, he goes by the name Kells. I can't say his full name together because, you know, his name is so taboo, you guys. This is YouTube. I have to be careful saying that man's name. But um, I heard that he's also after Tasha K now, too. Because I guess that guy's running out of money. But isn't he locked up right now? Isn't our, you guys, isn't, isn't Robert locked up right now? Okay. Robert, you guys know who I'm talking about? Robert Kelly. I don't want to say his name because I remember when I talked about him on my video and YouTube was like, oh no, this is, this cannot be monetized. And this is unlimited ads, not YouTube friendly. Cause I knew I said his name and his name is taboo. So I, I can't. Okay. But anyway, um, I heard also Kevin Hunter wants to go after Tasha K as well. I think a lot of these celebrities, you can tell when they're broke. Because Cardi B is not broke. She does have money. She's just trying to teach Tasha K a lesson. But um, some of these other celebrities, they think that Tasha K actually has a lot of money. So they're just looking for an opportunity to get something out of her, um, in my opinion, as well. Tasha K is not an angel to you guys. She's made mistakes. Um, she just wants to go back to her normal life. I think she's under so much pressure um, as well. So she's trying, she's really trying to just do the right thing, I guess. And she said that she's going to pay back Cardi B as well. Um, okay, you guys, thank you so much. I think I've covered everything I needed to cover in this video. You've heard it all, you guys. That's the latest update. Sharina Hudson and Kevin Hunter. I'm not sure where they've been uh, displaced to because um, with the bills and everything, these people are having a difficult time catching up. Um, anyway, it is what it is. It's up to them. They were living the lavish lifestyle. They were living off of Wendy Williams for a long time. And now the reality has hit. Uh, at least Sharina Hudson is still trying to maintain her ghost kitchen and running food to everybody's vehicles in the parking lot. You know, so that's the only thing. She's the only one that's bringing in income into this household at this time uh, because she realizes she has a daughter. So she has to do something. 
Okay. She can't just give up. Uh, yes, Sergeant King. Mr. Kelly. Released. I heard. Oh, my God. He got released. Wow. You guys, Gia just said she heard that Mr. Robert. Robert. Okay. Robert K. Uh, got released. Wow. If he did this to other women, there's no way that this guy would be out right now. This is so sad. Wow. Anyway, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook at Sunday Omni. By the way, you guys, I am uploading on my TikTok. So if you guys want to connect with me, watch me get ready, or I, I've been having some great conversations with people on TikTok as well. Um, just like when I'm getting ready in the morning. So I will be there tomorrow when I'm getting ready and stuff. And we can have a discussion. We can talk. Uh, so far, we've been talking about relationships and people have sent me questions um, and have asked me to talk about some things. Like a guy asked me to talk about why women have mood swing what are some things that women can do to help their hormones and their mood swings <laughs> he wants to know that um another lady suggested that i do videos about what women like all right and also another woman said that she wants me to just do my makeup and just get ready with me videos so i just want to say by the way special thanks to my subscribers who went to my TikTok and who are following me because when i see you guys over there i feel I feel more at home when you guys are there because you guys are more of my people. I don't know the people who follow me on TikTok. So when I see people that I recognize that I engage with all the time on my live, on my channel, it's like I feel like my friends are there and you guys are my friends. You guys are my family. You are my tribe. So I feel a lot more comfortable when I see you guys over on TikTok because I don't know uh, that platform. I don't know even the type of people who are watching me. I don't know the demographic. I don't know. Is there a lot more men watching me or more women watching me or I don't even know their mindset. I'm, I'm not sure. So I was very nervous in sharing some of my opinions on TikTok because I was worried like, oh, am I going to start getting attacked from some of these people? <laughs> you know, because just some of the questions as well that they were asking like regarding potential, like this guy was like asking, you know, if, um, if a man has potential, um, would a woman, you know, can a woman move a man in her house if he, she saw he had potential, but he didn't have a job? And I was scared to answer that question because I was worried because there is these other ladies that were saying, oh, yeah, he can move in. Yeah. If he has potential, yeah, he can move in. I don't care if he is jobless. And I was like, oh, no, no. You know, because I know like if you're like, you know what I mean? When other women are believing, say one thing and then you are a woman that says something else like it, it can not be good. You know, sometimes some ladies, it just can create some division. OK, and you guys know what my thoughts are is this is a no. I've told you guys for years on my channel, never chase potential. You know, let a man become who he wants to be because that's what he wants to be. Let him be proud of himself for his accomplishments and all this kind of stuff. You know, never take credit for a man's success. Let that man know that he did it by himself because he did. You know, but if you are chasing potential, potential is not guaranteed. Okay? Not guaranteed at all. And most times when women move in with guys, women start to disrespect those guys. And those guys start feeling like, I'm not a slave. Why are you bossing me around? I'm not your house boy. You can't just tell me what to do. Men don't like that. And I told you guys as well, when I was younger, I used to work at the homeless shelter. Okay? And a lot of men that were homeless told me that they would rather be on the street than move in with their girlfriend or their wives, like live with a woman, move into a woman's house. They'd rather be on the streets, you guys. Some men would rather risk their life on the street than move in with you. And I, I must say, I do respect those guys. I respect those homeless men. They're not willing to be pushed around. They have enough pride in themselves that they're not going to do that. 
Like they believe that they should have their own place and then have a woman come and stay with them. And I respect that. That's, that's amazing, you know, but for a man to feel confident to want to go into a woman's castle. Oh no. I mean, you guys, you know, I'm also African. I just, no, no. Okay. Moving into a woman's house. It's not going to be good long-term. It's better for a woman to move into a man's house. It's much better in my opinion. Okay. But the ladies on TikTok are very different, very unique. Okay. So I just didn't want to upset any of them or anything regarding my opinion. So I just kind of wanted to keep my opinions a little bit, you know, to myself a little bit, just share a little bit, but just kind of keep a little bit to myself because I don't know the demographic. I don't know the mindset, but it seems like there's a lot of, um, what I saw, there's a lot of desperate women over there. Um, <laughs> Very desperate. Some of them are looking for a man desperately. They're also laying in bed, wearing their bonnets, you know, just not putting any effort at all. Some of them are under their bed sheets. Um, and then they're going online saying they're looking for a man and all this kind of stuff. It's just, it's a lot over there. Okay. So I need you guys to go over to my TikTok, please. If I see you guys, I'm going to feel more comfortable to share my thoughts over there because right now I'm a little nervous. Okay. I'm really nervous because. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little nervous, okay? Because the collective of women over there really think a little different. They think differently. So I don't know. I still have to try to attract the women that are like-minded. Um, so I don't know how to get them. But so far, the kind of ladies I've seen, we, we just, yeah. <laughs> Our thoughts are just, they just, they like to, like, provide, take care of men, jobless men, homeless men, they're bringing these guys into their house and nah, never chase potential. Okay. You can be chasing potential for the rest of your life. Nothing is guaranteed. Let that guy get to where he wants to be on his own. A man will always survive. Okay. And that's what I told them. Men like to suffer. A man will survive. There are men on the streets that are surviving. I've seen some homeless people when I was I was 19, I saw them in the streets downtown. And now I'm in my 30s. I've seen those same homeless men on the streets still surviving. What does that say? A man knows how to survive. Okay. And some men have serious pride that they are not going to allow themselves to be degraded and disrespected or anything like that. They still have pride in themselves, even though they're in the streets. Okay. So what does that say? Men are totally capable if a man wants to change, he will change. If a man wants to, whatever a man wants to do, he will do because he knows exactly what he's doing. He does not need us women to take care of him or provide for him or do anything for him. A man will always do everything for himself. And that's that. Allow him to do it. Allow him to figure out his own stuff. But anyway, it's a very different demographic over there. Okay. So let me just try my best to develop and create my tribe on TikTok, you guys. So, oh, by the way, if any of you guys are on TikTok, please let me know if you know how to play games. I still don't know how to play a match or a game with somebody on TikTok. That's also something else I'm trying to figure out. So if you can please help me with that, I would really appreciate it. You can also inbox me on my TikTok as well. I love you guys sincerely. Anyway, have a peaceful evening and I will talk to you guys in the morning if you're tuned into my TikTok, okay? Until our next conversation, cheers.